Welcome to Easy English Practice. Personal development today will accompany Sarah as she goes about her regular workday as a customer service representative. You will learn important workplace terminology from this story. As we examine Grace's workday, get ready to hone your English speaking and listening abilities. Listen carefully. A day at my work. Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome to a typical day in my life as a customer service representative. I often work from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. I frequently get to work 30 minutes early since it allows me to unwind, check my emails, and get ready for the day without feeling rushed. My workday technically starts when the clock strikes 9 o'clock. Checking the customer support inbox for any new messages that arrive during the night is my first responsibility. I give each email a thoughtful response. I ensure that each client feels assisted and listened. This portion of my day calls for a lot of tolerance and a cordial demeanor. Our daily team meeting is scheduled for approximately 11 a.m. The meeting is led by Mr. Thompson, my supervisor. He is a leader who is firm but kind. He constantly exhorts us to strive for excellence. We offer updates and talk about any pressing concerns during these sessions. We occasionally receive training on new goods or services. It's a fantastic time for team building and education. At 1 p.m., lunch provides a much needed break. I typically eat lunch with my coworkers. We discuss more than just business. We discuss everything and everything. It's good to have coworkers who are aware of the highs and lows of the profession. My busiest hours of the day are typically in the afternoon. The majority of clients phone at this time with questions or issues. Wearing my headset, I'm prepared to assist, mentor, and occasionally soothe the clients. It's difficult yet satisfying when I can fix their problems. Or it's already 5 p.m. and time to head home. I clean my desk. I then bid my coworkers farewell. I leave with a sense of accomplishment. Every day is unique, bringing with it both new difficulties and achievements. But as a customer service officer, I enjoy my work because it allows me to assist individuals on a daily basis. Interesting expressions and vocabulary. To enhance our English, let's study some intriguing words and expressions from our novel before we begin our speaking practice. To settle in is to get used to a new environment or role. Example, it took us a few days to get comfortable in our new home. To respond is to answer or respond to someone. Example, Sarah must reply to emails from clients each day. Feeling that someone is paying attention and giving you the support you require is what it means to feel heard and supported. Example, everyone wants to be listened and supported in the support group. To need something is to require it. Example, a driver's license is necessary to operate a motor vehicle. To encourage someone is to offer them hope, confidence, or support. Example, I was encouraged to explore new things by my parents. A problem is considered urgent if it needs immediate attention and is of the highest significance. Example, many people are in desperate need of food and water. A colleague is someone you work with particularly in a business or profession. Example, I'll ask my colleague to assist you with that report. The good and bad times are called ups and downs. Example, all relationships experience highs and lows. A request for information or a question is called an inquiry. Example, many people are asking us questions concerning our new service. Resolve refers to settling a conflict or issue. Example. Have you found a solution to the transit issue yet? To be able to achieve or complete anything successfully is to be accomplished. Example, got a great sense of accomplishment after completing the assignment. It's practice time now, after Sarah, repeat. Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome to a typical day in my life as a customer service representative. 
Welcome to a typical day in my life as a customer service representative. I often work from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. I often work from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. I frequently get to work 30 minutes early. I frequently get to work 30 minutes early since it allows me to unwind. Since it allows me to unwind, check my emails, check my emails, and get ready for the day without feeling rushed. And get ready for the day without feeling rushed. My workday technically starts when the clock strikes 9 o'clock. My workday technically starts when the clock strikes 9 o'clock. Checking the customer support inbox. Checking the customer support inbox. For any new messages that arrive during the night is my first responsibility. For any new messages that arrive during the night is my first responsibility. I give each email a thoughtful response. I give each email a thoughtful response. I ensure that each client feels assisted and listened. I ensure that each client feels assisted and listened. This portion of my day calls for a lot of tolerance and a cordial demeanor. This portion of my day calls for a lot of tolerance and a cordial demeanor. Our daily team meeting is scheduled for approximately 11 a.m. Our daily team meeting is scheduled for approximately 11 a.m. The meeting is led by Mr. Thompson, my supervisor. The meeting is led by Mr. Thompson, my supervisor. He is a leader who is firm but kind. He is a leader who is firm but kind. He constantly exhorts us to strive for excellence. He constantly exhorts us to strive for excellence. We offer updates and talk about any pressing concerns during these sessions. We offer updates and talk about any pressing concerns during these sessions. We occasionally receive training on new goods or services. We occasionally receive training on new goods or services. It's a fantastic time for team building and education. At 1 p.m., Lunch provides a much needed break. At 1 p.m., lunch provides a much needed break. I typically eat lunch with my coworkers. I typically eat lunch with my coworkers. We discuss more than just business. We discuss more than just business. We discuss everything and everything. We discuss everything and everything. It's good to have coworkers who are aware of the highs and lows of the profession. It's good to have coworkers who are aware of the highs and lows of the profession. My busiest hours of the day are typically in the afternoon. My busiest hours of the day are typically in the afternoon. The majority of clients phone at this time with questions or issues. The majority of clients phone at this time with questions or issues. Wearing my headset, I'm prepared to assist. Wearing my headset, I'm prepared to assist. Mentor and occasionally soothe the clients. Mentor and occasionally soothe the clients. It's difficult yet satisfying when I can fix their problems. It's difficult, yet satisfying, when I can fix their problems. It's already 5 p.m. and time to head home. It's already 5 p.m. and time to head home. I clean my desk. I clean my desk. I then bid my coworkers farewell. I then bid my coworkers farewell. I leave with a sense of accomplishment. I leave with a sense of accomplishment. Every day is unique. Every day is unique. Bringing with it both new difficulties and achievements. 
bringing with it both new difficulties and achievements. But as a customer service officer, but as a customer service officer, I enjoy my work because it allows me to assist individuals on a daily basis. I enjoy my work because it allows me to assist individuals on a daily basis. Listen to the story carefully one more time. Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome to a typical day in my life as a customer service representative. I often work from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. I frequently get to work 30 minutes early since it allows me to unwind, check my emails, and get ready for the day without feeling rushed. My workday technically starts when the clock strikes 9 o'clock. Checking the customer support inbox for any new messages that arrive during the night is my first responsibility. I give each email a thoughtful response. I ensure that each client feels assisted and listened. This portion of my day calls for a lot of tolerance and a cordial demeanor. Our daily team meeting is scheduled for approximately 11 a.m. The meeting is led by Mr. Thompson, my supervisor. He is a leader who is firm but kind. He constantly exhorts us to strive for excellence. We offer updates and talk about any pressing concerns during these sessions. We occasionally receive training on new goods or services. It's a fantastic time for team building and education. At 1 p.m., lunch provides a much needed break. I typically eat lunch with my coworkers. We discuss more than just business. We discuss everything and everything. It's good to have coworkers who are aware of the highs and lows of the profession. My busiest hours of the day are typically in the afternoon. The majority of clients phone at this time with questions or issues. Wearing my headset, I'm prepared to assist, mentor, and occasionally soothe the clients. It's difficult yet satisfying when I can fix their problems. Or it's already 5 p.m. and time to head home. I clean my desk. I then bid my coworkers farewell. I leave with a sense of accomplishment. Every day is unique, bringing with it both new difficulties and achievements. But as a customer service officer, I enjoy my work because it allows me to assist individuals on a daily basis. Great work today. Keep up the fantastic effort. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enjoyable English lessons, happy learning, and see you next time.